dear student in this class we will be dealing about the dimension of informal sectors so in continuation to the informal sector what we have discussed in the last class here we will see about the souvenir sellers then what problem they face because of the commercialization activity how it is taking place and what are the drawbacks of such commercialization activities for the souvenir sellers then the problem of quality control what will happen how when where the quality mismatches what the consumer expect and what is the quality of the item what it is being sold to them so this is going to be an another interesting topic what we are going to see today we will start with the souvenir sellers something if i am going to a particular place and if i am visiting that place in remembrance of that place i will be purchasing certain things and i will be bringing it to home so that comes under the souvenir so it is something which we do normally the tourist when they come back home they want to bring certain thing as remembrance for what they have visited so something you keep or give to remember a special visit so it comes it's quite natural of any segment of any part of the world when they are going to other part of the world or a domestic tourist when he is going to some important place they used to purchase some item and they are giving it to their friends also and they are keeping it mainly to show it to their friends to share their experience and so this souvenir becomes a memento so we used to remember those places on seeing that object what i have purchased so that will make me to remember what i have seen in my life in the earlier part or whenever i see that object i used to remember that particular place so here we have kept some photos regarding the miniature of the biggest towers what you see so that you can remember those places so if i go visit someone if i ask from where you purchased then he will say when i visited that particular place i purchased this to remember that particular incidents or that particular moment so we used to preserve it that comes under the souvenir seller so this is quite natural in today's class we will see it is coming under the informal sectors and what is how this business is going on and how these souvenir sellers they face the problem in the society here we will see people include the business of selling ethnic arts and crafts produced to audience or to the tourist visiting that particular destination this is how we are trying to create the definition or we are trying to make the students to understand what is souvenir exactly it is the businesses of selling the ethnic art and craft product that is very important it is it belongs to the people those who are living in those areas which is produced ethnically and it resembles some art or craft it makes us to resemble certain art or craft that is the thing normally they operate from open air or makeshift hall so they never have any built accommodation or shops they just pay on the payment they used to make their shops they used to sell so you can see it from the photographs how these souvenir sellers they are selling their art and craft which are produced by them and it comes under the informal sector of the tourism business this sort of business fall under the informal sector and this is very important as we have told exclusively in many places all over the world you can see the souvenir seller it comes under the informal sectors of tourism business further when you are trying to understand more about these souvenirs geographically and cultural gap often separate the producers and consumer because here you can find many tourists those who are visiting india from far off places or from other countries there there is a lot of gap which separates the producers and the consumers because the people they are coming here for very long distance they are visiting a particular city they are visiting a particular place and once when they are not aware of the things they will be cheated or they are purchasing certain things wrong production is mainly influenced by the sales process so production is mainly influenced by the sales process if you are producing the wrong item sometimes or if the goods are produced with low quality the tourist think that it is the original product or it is of good quality they may be taking it but only the seller they will come to know what it is the product but the purchasers or the buyers they don't know they believe that it is a correct product and they are taking souvenir business people determine the performance and demand the market control the quality of the product so the people determine the preferences and they know what exactly the tourist want and they are trying to produce it and they have to sell it and that should be of good quality 
suppose if it is not good quality then the tourists they are cheated. So, when they are carrying it back and if they come to know that it is of not good quality then they feel that they are being dejected or they are being cheated. They also circulates the types prototypes object to be occupied by the local artisan. So, exactly they have to produce the things which moves into the market. Suppose, if those items are not being purchased by the tourist then that will be a end of loss they will be running the business in the loss. So, that case that it will be a difficult situation. In case of souvenir producers are producing the object that are mainly unrelated to the cultural background of the producer. So, sometimes what is happening this is the demand in the market and this particular product is not a part of this particular area still the tourists are purchasing that. So, in order to make a livelihood I am being forced to produce such goods and making it to enter or push into the market. So, that sort of situation is visible in today's world. So, in many tourist destination we can find certain product which does not belong to that area still they are being produced and still they are being marketed. Normally, to gain more businesses and to attract tourists the products are being sold in the market the people are trained to speak the different languages. So, what is happening there exactly there is some mismatching which is taking place. So, what I am doing I am trying to sell those product by speaking the different languages so that the tourists are attracted towards the product this is common sight in many places in many areas in many tourist destination all over the world. Further, we can see about the process of commercialization in this art and craft that is in the souvenir business. The term souvenir may have an unfortunate well of commercialization drawn over it due to the mass tourism, but at its root it is literally about the memory and recollection. So, even if it is of commercialized product even if it is sold in a mass manner still we are trying to purchase it to maintain or to remember or to recollect the process what we have enjoyed once when I visited that particular place. So, if I keep a miniature or if I keep a souvenir of that particular place then I used to remember it. The emergence of the market in ethnic arts due to the tourism has often seen as a major factor in preservation and revival of often declining arts and crafts. So, what it is happening in that place if I am going and purchasing that particular product. So, I am giving a chance for that particular product not to die that means, the revival of art and culture belonging to that particular place what I have visited can be preserved by this form of souvenirs arts and craft. Then the commercialization can be of two parts one it is spontaneous and second one is sponsors under the spontaneous what we are going to understand is product or modified as per the taste of outside demand as I have shown earlier or you are producing certain product which does not belong ethnically to that particular area. So, they are also modifying as per the taste of outside demand that means, they are producing the product which are liked by the tourist and tourists are from other parts of the world. So, what here we are doing is we are creating the product or we are modifying the product as per the taste of the tourist. So, the originality is missing there. Then under the sponsored what we are trying to do is local technical skills are used by the outside entrepreneur. So, I am having certain skills to produce the product which are being produced in that area. Now, my skills are being used by the entrepreneur from other areas as a result the product which are unrelated to the culture of that particular area or the artisans are produced and it is being sold. So, the tourist may not be knowing which particular product belongs to this particular place they think that it is available in the market because it is forced by the outside entrepreneur by the local artisans and they are producing it there is no other way for the artisan except to listen to the outside entrepreneur for the profit sake he may be asking them to produce such product which does not belong to that particular area or it is different to that of culture of that area and that is being marketed such things are also coming under this commercialization of these souvenir products. Outside entrepreneur utilize the technical skill of the local artisans and produce the product that are not related to the culture 
and ultimately what will happen the product which are ethnically belonging to that particular area slowly it may vanish from that area or that type of art or culture will finally die at that particular place emergence of the market ethnic arts due to tourism and others being a major factor in the preservation of these cultural products art in the host population so these host they have to take interest to produce such product and then they have to sell it to the guest so what will happen in such case they have to take pride then only those product will remain for longer time in the memory otherwise slowly those product will be forgotten even by the local people due to the commercialization of this product the stale of the artifact may get integrated into the producer's own culture so slowly this product which belongs to other area as they are being manufactured or marketed by the local people slowly this product they have certain resemblance that means the mixture will be found the original product may not be found but one part of the product is being produced here from other part of the world they are taking certain ideas they are mixing with this product such things are often visible in the market tourists often flock these products which are commercialized regulating of local customs they think that this is the product which reflects the local culture then because of tourist host interaction may end in emergence of completely novel product sometime what happened the guest are produce in need of certain product the host are producing certain product so they may emerge an amalgamation of the ideas and it will give a new craft unrelated to the culture but these product are also produced and as it is widely demanded in the market the local people they may produce such product and they may try to sell it and it is also being sold successfully because the tourist demand such particular product in those areas so certain product which are new to that particular culture may also be found available in the market which are liked by the tourist so here the emergence of the idea we have to understand it very correctly it is the need of the tourist so the localites are producing sometimes they are combining the ideas which are available in the other areas and regions and they are bringing out with a new interesting product that is also sold in the market for the purpose of attracting the tourists towards that particular destination or for the livelihood of the local artisans further if you see tourists search for one of a kind or a rare craft because they are very much interested because they want to purchase those product which are really produced by the artisan by their own hand so the tourist always try to locate where it is being produced how they are producing it the tourist are interested in seeing how they are being produced and how they are being collected or how they are being assembled in that particular situation and it is being sold so souvenir preparation or the souvenir manufacturing the souvenir goods it is not that much easy as you think because these people they use the old technology and they are producing it the the way of production itself attract the tourist to that particular spot so if you go deeply you can see the tourists they are very much interested in visiting those place where the artisans are living they even go to their home to see they stay with them and see how they are producing because some product it takes a long time to get produced so they are very much interested in understanding the production process and you cannot find it in the common place so you have to visit those places tourists look for item that are produced indigenously which are produced by the material which are available in that particular area by the skilled artisan sometimes you can see the tourists they are taking the photographs they are making the videos how how it is being manufactured because it, they are very much curious in understanding the manufacturing or the production process so they want to have a glimpse of those things how it is being produced so i will be interested in purchasing certain product which is produced in front of my eyes so the tourist are very much interested in seeing that and these artisans they also know that the tourist will be visiting them so they take pride in what they are manufacturing and because of this process the people are doing this as a form of art preservation or cultural preservation further once when you want to understand tourists are often searching for product produced in unusual and cultural conditions so they are not very much interested in visiting a manufacturing unit where it is being produced by the machine 
suppose if i want to purchase a cloth which is being produced ethnically i used to visit the weavers house or the working place where they are working i used to watch how they are making it then i used to consume that particular product especially the foreign tourist especially the old age tourist now they are if they are visiting india they are very much interested in visiting such places so you should have as a tourism professional we should have an idea where it is being manufactured how it is being manufactured then we have to bring those artisans and tourist in a plane where it has been how it has been the system is working so you have to give an opportunity there you have to try to solve the problem between the consumers and producers tourist pay attention to the training and to the original method that had been handed down by the family for over generations so when the tourists interact with the people they ask from whom you learnt this then they used to say this was being followed by my father and my grandfather also did the same thing so it is passed on this knowledge of way of preparation is passed on from the generations that means for various generation they are following it so they take pride because it is an intellectual knowledge what it is given to their family by their forefathers so they are producing this knowledge used in production gained across by the lifelong training so sometimes you need a long time it will take a long time for you to understand the production process then only you can master this particular thing the use of indigenous material such as clay or grasses increase the interest of the tourist because once when they are coming from highly developed nation they are wondering how oh, you are producing with the help of this natural product which has no side effect and such things are very much attractive for them so they are trying to take the product exclusively which are produced by the indigenous materials and which are made by hands that means the hand woven product the handicraft products are very much attractive for the tourist then certain products are produced only during the particular season so in the other season they will not produce that particular product even you can see in the home they will produce food in certain particular season only because they will not get the raw material or even if you try to produce in other season that may not have the good quality so it is being produced only in a particular season then products are taken much care to produce if you take much time much care then automatically that becomes more attractive for the foreign tourist artisan makes that particular product which exhibit their talent and effort so it may take some 3 to 4 month of time to make a simple piece of product in this art and artisans they are well trained so they have the lifetime knowledge so they are producing it and such product moves in the market artisan get more satisfaction in producing such product and tourist also get more satisfaction because they have seen the production process they have seen the hard work of the artisan behind producing such product so they are coming out and they are really going to the place where the artisans are working they are visiting these places and they are purchasing the product rather than picking it from the marketplace for your easy understanding certain photographs are kept here you can see that how much it is difficult or how much effort they might have put in producing such product it's a normal elephant how they have engraved it and how they have colored it in the other photographs you can see over a image they are creating another one piece so what is happening here they take much of the time they use the natural material you see the bags and you see the other items which are lying down in front of the artisan sometimes they used to sit there and produce these items as they are not having any other impact on the particular environment these are the natural product out of this natural product it is being manufactured so it attracts the foreign goods under the informal sector such handicraft groups are very famous especially art craft which belongs to the indigenous people are a very famous product which the tourists purchase when they are visiting such places moving further the last and the thing what we have to understand in this souvenir business is the problem of quality control because the tourists are coming here from a very different places they used to feel that whatever the product is available in the market is of good quality but sometime it may not be so because commercialized ethnic craft made way for outsider other than the original producers to crowd into the market nowadays people want to earn profit they want livelihood so what they are doing they are entering into the marketplace they are trying to produce something make the product very famous and they are trying to push the product in the market it is because of this reason sometime the quality mismatch arises once when the 
tourists are taking back some product to their home when they find it is of not good quality or they find very much dejected or the negative word of mouth publicity may be passed on by the tourist. So, we have to be very careful in giving the quality product to the tourist. Other ethnic group or majority population become the source of outsiders. So, in a particular place when the other people who are not belonging to that particular area are dominating in number then they may be producing certain product which are very new to that particular area or they may create a demand for such product which are not being produced by the local art or artisans or the craftsmen. Informal nature of the market further forward outsiders to enter into this business and no legal production to the style and the product is available that is an another major problem in the informal structure because we do not have any legal protection for the style of the product what is being manufactured by the local art or artisan. So, the people from outside area they may influence the product being manufactured at the particular place. Due to the penetration of outsider the quality product started reaching that particular market. So, low quality product will enter into the market and slowly as the outsiders are dominating they may make the low quality product for the purpose of creating profit and they may be pushing it inside the market ultimately those product will reach the hands of the tourist. But tourists are not knowing exactly what is happening in that particular marketplace and they are being cheated in many cases. Further if you see as buyer lack the knowledge of original product. So, if I am going to a area and if I am new to that area I may not be knowing what is the exact original product being produced by the local people. So, the outsiders may dominate that particular people those who are in that area and they may be producing certain product I may think these products are real of good nature product which are produced by the local people and I may consume those particular product without my knowledge. Then quality and valuation of the goods are not standardized once again it is a problem of an informal sector where there is no one to give the guarantee for the product what I am purchasing. So, if I see if something is very costly I automatically think that it is of quality in nature. Suppose if there is some product which is not highly priced then I think that is an inferior product sometime it may be a real product and I may not know the real worth or value and in that case the wrong decisions are being taken. Souvenir market form under the informal sector there is no mechanism to guide the consumer regarding the authenticity and the quality of the product purchase. So, our aim has to create the awareness among the tourists which is the quality product from where you have to purchase who are the right people who are manufacturing this product and how the quality has to be checked there is no mechanism because all this souvenir trade it comes under the informal sector of tourism business. Further when you see the use of advertisement quality certification and credit ratings they use the formal sector they use all these things. So, automatically their product the quality is visible in their product, but in informal sector the quality may not be visible because we are not using such thing. In informal sector knowledge about the product is based in favor of seller side of the market. So, whatever the seller is selling whatever we are thinking that these people are selling the correct product. So, the seller dominates the market because he has good idea what he is selling whether it is the correct product or whether it is not correct product whether the product has the quality or it does not have the quality only the seller knows whereas the buyer is ignorant of such product knowledge. Buyers are less informed about the product as a result of which the price of the product becomes a variable to decide the quality of the product. So, high priced product automatically we think that it is of good quality low priced product we try to say that it may not be of good quality and we may entering into the bargaining mode. So, absence of incentive premium forces seller not to transmit the relevant information to the buyer. So, nobody is having any concession nobody is being provided with the extra amount to give a correct information regarding a particular product to the buyer. So, these people in order to create profit they may try to sell the wrong product to the tourist thereby they are creating a negative image for the destination also. So, seller of a quality product often find it difficult a correct buyer. So, if I am putting the correct product in the marketplace sometime I may have to quote the more rate involved because 
a lot of process is involved in production. So, if I add the rate sometime my product may not be attractive, I am not getting a correct purchaser for a correct price. So, I am dejected. So, in that case what I will do? I will try to sell some other product which is in the requirement of tourists sometime it may have low quality also. Marketer is often found with souvenir with a varying random quality. So, they have a range of price. Suppose, one thing will be sold for a 5 rupees and the same thing another piece may be sold for 50 rupees. It will be very difficult for us to judge whether price of the product is correct or not, whether the quality of the product is correct or not. In such situation, the tourist also face the problem and the seller is also even though he is knowing the correct thing what he is selling, what is its quality, he try to push the wrong product because he want to make profit out of that particular business deal. Tourists find it difficult how to evaluate the quality of the souvenir offered for sale. So, there is no particular evaluation mechanism is working because we under the informal sector this souvenir business is coming. So, it is very difficult for us to judge the quality or the tourist may not be having idea and he may purchase a wrong product or a product of inferior quality for a higher price. So, tourist always think that he is purchasing the correct product, but what product he is purchasing only the seller is knowing whether I am cheating the tourist or not that I will only know because of such thing as in the informal sector these things are prevailing for a longer time and that becomes a problem because of commercialization the wrong product may move, the right product may not move and even if the right product is moving there will be no correct seller or buyer who are doing justice. So, they may try to cheat or exploit the ignorance of the tourist for creating profit. There are different pairs of buyers and seller who trade at different prices. Suppose, if I am putting a low product, low value product and I may get a group of purchasers who are willing to purchase this. Suppose, if I am preparing an ethnic product which is of high cost, once again I can find certain tourists who are purchasing this high cost product. So, every level you will have certain customers. So, that is an another difficult situation for whom you are producing, for whom you are marketing, for whom you are selling. So, that process has to be rightly understood otherwise once again there may be a confusion. If price increases seller will bring more higher quality product into the market, but the high price may not be liked by the tourist. So, the tourist may neglect those product which is of high price and they may try to purchase the inferior good or low price product that too after a bargaining. So, this creates a lot of problem in the market. In this souvenir business seller is much informed rather than the buyer. So, the buyers they may not be knowing the exact thing. So, if the seller has the knowledge he may put it for good use or sometime he may misuse his knowledge and he may sell the wrong product for much of the profit and ultimately the tourist will be the sufferer. Quality remains a key question. However, frequent sale is expected in order to maintain a equilibrium in the market because they have manufactured this good in a very huge amount. Now, they want to sell it to create the profit. So, the quality is the key question whether it is of correct quality or not the tourist may not have the idea. So, we have to create the awareness among the tourist and not only among the tourist among the people those who are marketing such product. So, that they give or transmit the right knowledge to the tourist thereby the tourist are also benefiting and the image of the place and the artisans those who are involved in production of such art and craft also benefit a lot. So, in the end of this section we will be seeing how this thing came because profit is required for running a business. So, the livelihood of the people is in question. So, they may try to produce a good product, but it may not find a correct purchaser. So, what we are doing? We are trying to push certain product which will attract the tourist or which may be of not good quality or which does not ethnically belong to that area. So, this particular problem can be solved only when we have the awareness, when we create awareness both among the purchasers and among the buyers and among the sellers and among the marketers and producers. Thank you student, thank you very much.